I've tried on so many Gymshark sports bras and I have not found a single one that fits me properly. I've tried the minimal sports bra, the zip up sports bra, the sweat seamless sports bra, the elevate twist front sports bra, the bendo sports bra, the legacy sports bra, the peekaboo sports bra. Not a single one of them has worked out for me. I am determined to find one sports bra from Gymshark that fits me. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angeline and I post all things wellness, fitness, self-care as a busy mom of two kids. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to join the family. I have a Gymshark try on haul for you today, but not just any try on haul. I'm on a mission to find the perfect sports bra for someone with a small bust. Okay, so I don't think I have that weird of a body type. Yes, I have a very small bust. I generally wear a 32B. If I actually measure myself and put them in to a website, it'll say I'm closer probably to like a 32A or a 32AA, but I always feel more comfortable in a 32B because I feel like I just have a little bit more coverage and I find this is the issue with sports bras that I've tried. I always order extra small and I will put my measurements down below so you can take a peek. And for some reason, extra small sports bras, especially in Gymshark, they do not fit properly. They're either too tight, too loose, or just plain uncomfortable that I've had to return them all. I don't know what's going on. I generally am the most comfortable in Gymshark legging and shorts, but usually have to kind of stick to Lululemon size four sports bras or Nike extra small, Adidas extra small. But seriously, I would love to get my gym wear all from one place. All right, let's get into it. First up, I'm gonna try the ruched strappy sports bra. Now I have high hopes for this one because the reviews are insane. I've seen it look amazing. Right away, this sports bra is super buttery soft and I just love this color I chose. This is the Rouge Strappy sports bra in the color green. Now it's giving minimal, which I love, but it's got more of an elevated feel with this lovely back design here. And something that this sports bra has that the minimal does not is it has inserts to put bra pads in and you guys know that I need that. So definitely light support, but a really, really soft material. So I'm gonna find removable bra pads to put in here and I'm gonna try this on. Okay, so this one took a little bit to put on. I had to pull it on over my head and this bottom band is quite snug. So I was worried it was going to rip, but we got it on and I'm actually not mad at it. It's definitely on the snug side for an extra small. Could I size up? Maybe, but I'd be worried that there'd be too much room here in the cups because in the cups it is fitting me okay. Now it's looking pretty cute and it's actually labeled as a low support bra, but I mean, again, <laughs> I don't have anything, so it's not going anywhere, but I feel feeling pretty secure here. Feels more like a medium to high support for me. Really nice deep V-neck here. Obviously the ruching in the front, but the back is where it's at. Check out that back. Really, really nice strap detail here. Now the straps are not adjustable. So again, they're feeling a tad long. I'd like it to be sitting just a little bit higher, just right here because I find where it's sitting right now with how long the straps are. I'm getting this little spillage on the side here and it's not my boob, it's just my arm fat. And I don't love that. Had I been sitting just a little bit higher if the straps were adjustable, it looks more flattering, but also I think it would not be as uncomfortable. I love the color and like I said, I'm not mad at it. It feels okay. I think it looks good. I really like the minimal design, especially kind of for like an upper body day. I don't know, let me know what you guys think about this one. All right, next up, I have the cotton lifting sports bra in a size extra small. So I think I was really excited about this one because I really gravitate towards bras in this style. So right away, it definitely looks a little bit more stretchy than the one that I'm wearing. It kind of looks like some of the bandeaus that I've tried without actually being a bandeau. And I'm worried again, because I can see that the straps are not adjustable. It's just gonna slip on right over my head and it kind of has to fit perfectly when there's no adjustments. Again, there are inserts to add removable bra pads, so I am going to do that and see how this one fits. Really nice flattering neckline here with the V straps in the back. So gonna slip this on and 
hope that this is a winner. Okay, I think we're getting closer. I have to say when, again, when I was putting this one on, I did not think that I would like it, but once I have it on, I'm, I'm digging the way that it looks. What do you guys think? Now, same as the other one, it's not adjustable. I just put it on over my head. The straps aren't adjustable, so it kind of sits in place and has to be perfect. I will say the bottom band is feeling a little bit snug, not as snug as the other one. I kind of like the look of this one because I'm a little bit more comfortable. I'm not showing as much skin. Now, I did put the removable cup pads in, and I think that makes this more of a medium high support for me. And again, I love the way that it would look kind of on a upper body day, but Again, I wish the straps were adjustable and that it was sitting a little bit higher here because I'm getting a little bit of tightness around the arms. The back is definitely where it's at though. With this nice V detail. I find the neckline to be super flattering. It's not like a regular scoop or a V. It's kind of got this unique design here. I think the fabric is a little bit different than I'm used to. It's more of kind of a soft cottony fabric. So I'm not sure if I'm sweating a lot, if it's gonna show, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm pretty so far by these last two sports bras. The other Gymshark sports bras that I've tried in the past, I pretty much put it on and immediately take it off because I know it's a return for me. I'm kind of digging these. I'm gonna have to kind of wear them around the house and see how I feel to see if the straps are digging at all. These are not, they're really, really stretchy. Like the only place I'm feeling it is right here on both bras because again, the straps are just a little bit too long for my body type. And that's why I think all sports bras should have adjustable straps, like come on. So let's move on and try a different one. Maybe third time's a charm. Now I've had this one in my cart for a while and I finally pulled the trigger at the summer sale and it is the Back Gains Sports Bra and check out this color. Love me some purple. Now, if this works for me, this will be the first sports bra that I have that's completely open back with the fun back detail. So I'm gonna put it on so you guys can take a peek. This is the same material as the Rouge sports bra that I tried on. It looks like a minimal design again, and there are pockets for removable cup pads, so I will add those. Again, slipping it on over my head, but yeah, let's, let's give it a go and see if this one works. Okay, I don't get this. I'm so confused. I've taken this on and off like four times and I'm looking at the picture and I, I'm so confused. The issue is that the straps are all connected. So I feel like I need to loosen one strap. But man, I don't have enough time at 5 a.m. to be doing this. I don't know, this is really weird. This is not the one. It doesn't look bad now, but honestly, it's taken me like 15 minutes to put this on. I don't know. It feels weird. It kind of has the opposite issue the other ones did. Like it feels it's like it's very short and I need to keep pulling it down. If I lift my arms up, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's not happening. I mean, it's too bad because check out that back. I mean, did I put it on right? I think so. Like the back looks like the picture. I don't know. It's so hard to tell. It's too bad because the back is super cute. I haven't seen like an open back sports bra like this, but yeah, this isn't the one. There's no way. If I lift my arms above my head or do any type of anything, it's just, it's just uncomfortable. I feel like it's like, it's going to come down this way and ah, I don't like it. It's not the one. It's not the one. Taking it off. Okay. I just had to take that one off, but I did throw on the strap feature sports bra. I'm pretty impressed with this one. I feel like this is kind of like if the Rouge sports bra and the back gains one had a baby, it would look like this. This is listed more as a medium support, so they did provide the cup pads in them. The only thing I don't like is that you can clearly see the cup pads, like they're just not big enough to cover anything. I don't know if it's because I have an extra small that they have extra small cup pads, but you know, the cup pads are only like this big. So I might have to switch them out for some of my bigger ones. I don't know, I, I'm digging this sports bra. I think this might be my favorite so far. The only thing that I'm noticing is that this second strap here, it's kind of slipping a little bit. So I find myself going like this, it's a really beautiful, nice scoop neck here. And then you have the double strap. And then the back is also super fun. It's got these nice strappy details. So not full backless like the last back gains one, 
but still enough to kind of feel sexy and cute on a nice back day. I like that. Yeah, I, I don't know. This might be a winner for me. It's feeling really comfortable. I mean, it's not adjustable at all. Again, I did pull it on over my head. The straps aren't adjustable, but for some reason it's sitting a little bit higher on me. So the straps might be a little bit shorter. Not feeling any digging here. The bottom band is nice and stretchy. And again, yeah, kind of liking the strap feature. Yeah, maybe those straps aren't going anywhere. Maybe because it's sitting kind of at an awkward part on my shoulder that I'm not used to it sitting. You know when your bra that you wear under your shirt like kind of gets loose and starts edging down your shoulder? So you kind of do that like thing. That's what this feels like a little bit. So, I mean, it would take some time to get used to, but overall it feels pretty comfortable. I don't know, what do you guys think about this one? Did I just find a sports bra that I like from Gymshark? All right, so I still have two more to try on. The next one I have is the ribbed sports bra. And when I pull it out, not loving it as much as the other ones, but check out this color. I did get kind of a dark navy color. This is in the color blue. And then it's got that really nice rib detailing. If you look up close, kind of shiny, does have removable cup pads in it. And again, very standard, you know, slip on over your head type of thing. Um, it does have a nice back detail here, like a crisscross rather just than a straight back. I'm gonna try this on and see how it fits. And I mean, it looks kind of boring coming out of the packaging, but I'm hoping it looks good on. Okay, it definitely looks less boring on. I think that this might be the most comfortable of the sports bras that I've put on so far. It's not digging anywhere. Sure, I had to pull it on over my head. So the band doesn't have a lot of give. It was a little bit difficult to put on, but once I put it on, everything feels super comfortable. There's no digging. The straps are buttery soft. It just feels so good. And I didn't think I'd love this style. I was going for more of a minimal feel, but hey, this video is all about finding a Gymshark sports bra that I like. And I like this one. I can see myself running in this one. I can see myself lifting in this one. I love the rib detailing. And then the logo is kind of more tonal, which I like. It's not in your face. And then the back, like I mentioned, it's not just straight across. It kind of has that fun little crisscross detail there, but I don't know, not that anyone would notice, but hey, friends, did we do it? Did we find a sports bra that I actually love and I'm gonna keep? And out of all the ones that I purchased, I did not think it was gonna be this one. Now you're probably gonna tell me that this one maybe doesn't look the best. I'm going for comfort here as well. This one is sitting in place and I'm feeling really good about this one. Let me know your thoughts on this one and if you've tried the rib sports bra before. This one is so comfortable, I don't even wanna take it off, but I do have one more to try. And that is the Strappy Back Light Support Sports Bra. So I don't know. I don't know why these names all sound the same. They kind of all blend together. A really beautiful blue color. Something that I love about this sports bra is that it's got kind of the molded cup pads already. So nothing that's removable that you can take out, which I personally love. If you know, you know, like, doing my workout wear laundry, I spent so much time taking out the removable bra pads and then putting in removable bra pads and sorting through the removable bra pads. Like it's a thing and it's annoying AF. This one, they're just in there. Very, very hopeful that this works. Something else to note is that yes, there are adjustable straps in this one. So I should be able to tighten this or loosen it however needed so that it fits just right. The only thing I'm worried about is that it's got all these straps again. So I have to figure out how to put them on and make sure that everything is sitting flat and in the right place. Let's do it. I'm finally gonna take this off and we're gonna, we're gonna give this other one a go. Okay, this color on my skin tone is poppin'. I love this color. Do I love the sports bra? Um, Okay, this video again is about finding a sports bra for a smaller bust. I feel like we've been successful for the most part. Like majority of them have fit. I would wear them in the gym. Now I'm thinking about what looks the best and I can wear for a longer period of time. Now this one is similar to, I mean, they're all very similar, but this one is similar to the strap feature sports bra that, you know, was really cute and 
you know, was my first winner until I tried the ribbed one. But now that I'm going back to it and I'm wearing this one, I just feel like this secondary strap on the shoulder isn't gonna, isn't gonna provide me with much comfort because it's gonna keep slipping and I hate that. I hate anything that I have to adjust when I'm working out. This one is also slipping off my shoulders, you can see, but the great thing is this outside strap is actually adjustable. So I'm gonna tighten them up and see how that feels. I just think all sports bras should be adjustable. Like there's not one size fits all for everyone. We all have different broadness of shoulders and obviously bust and under bust. It's just, it's too much. There it is. I adjusted the straps. I could make them even tighter, but I don't want them to be digging in. And I mean, it's cute. I really like it. Again, I like the molded pads. I would be worried for washing if this would warp at all. So I'm curious if you have the sports bra and you've washed it before, let me know if there's been any warping. The back is very cute very strappy. I think all the sports bras I have are very strappy. This is quite backless which I like. It's different and not as terrible as the actual back gains sports bra. So yeah pretty cute. I just I don't know. There's something about it that I'm not too keen on. I don't know if it's this like weird v-neck. It's almost like a sweetheart. I just feel like it's not that flattering on me. It is super comfortable and if you have a small bust I recommend giving it a go because it does have the adjustable straps. If you're looking for something that is backless for back day definitely prefer this one to the back gains one if you have a small bust. Yeah I don't know. Let me know your thoughts. All right it's getting late in the day. I'm losing my light but I think we have a clear winner here. Again, this video was for me to find any sports bra that I liked from Gymshark. Every sports bra I've tried, I haven't liked. These five sports bras that I purchased, is it five? One, two, three, four, five. No, six. Gosh, I bought six sports bras. These six sports bras that I purchased, I think there's only one that I would not wear and that's the back gains one. I, I think it's great if any of you love it and that's your favorite. I did note that the reviews on the Canadian app for that sports bra are very, very poor, like two out of five. So maybe that should have tipped me off. I honestly would wear any of these sports bras. So way to go Gymshark. I mean, you definitely stepped up your game for providing sports bras for women with smaller breasts. So thank you, thank you for that. Now, comfort wise, the ones that I would keep and actually wear and work out in week after week, definitely the rib sports bra. So I might have to snag this one in another color as well. And I don't know, I, I really was hopeful about the cotton one because I love the style. So I might have to, like I said, wear it around the house, see how it feels, see if it's digging at all. And this one might be a keeper for me as well. So if you have a small bus like me, Definitely comment down below if there is a sports bra that you've tried that I should try. Again, like I said, I definitely veer more towards Lululemon, Nike, Adidas. I also have two Honor Active bras that I love, the Timeless Strappy and the Everyday Sports Bra. Yes, if there's any other brands that I should be trying, let me know, comment down below so that I can give those a go. Thank you so much to everyone for watching my video. I really appreciate all the love on this video and my past videos. If you like this type of fitness content, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. I cannot wait to see you in my next video and I hope you have a great evening. Bye for now.